Hello students, today we will discuss about two important terms that are impact parameters and distance of closest approach. These two, uh, these two terms were discussed by Rutherford or uh, Giger and Marsden experiment by them. In previous video as we have discussed about uh, the Giger and uh, Marsden experiment that is alpha gold foil experiment. In that particular experiment they have explained these two terms that is impact parameter and distance of closest approach. These two topics are important for your numericals, right? So you must be clear with this, these two terms. So for that I would like to share with you one diagram. So let's begin. This particular diagram shows that these are the rays of alpha particle or I can say these are the alpha particles which are taken from you know bismuth 214-83 atom and the alpha particles were released from that the, which we have discussed in the previous video and this is the nucleus of the gold foil atom which was discovered by Rutherford. So let's see what all things, what observation you will find out through this okay so if i talk about this alpha particles we know they are positively charged okay they are positively charged nucleus contain proton that is also positively charged mass as said by the four so columbian force you know f is inversely proportional to r square this you know already. Columbian force, force between two different charges, is inversely proportional to the distance of separation between them. So, according to the observation in the Giger and Marsden experiment, first observation what they said is the maximum of the alpha particles they pass straight through the gold foil. That means the distance of separation between that particular positive alpha particle and the nucleus must be the farthest. So farthest the distance, weakest will be the force of attraction. That means this particular will go straight on the screen, this particular will go straight on the screen. Right? Now what about this alpha particle? The separation distance is smaller than the alpha so it will experience a it will experience a force of repulsion because of the nature of charge this is also positive this is also positive so because of the nature of the charge that particular alpha particle experience a force of repulsion now what about this alpha particle this alpha particle is more closer to this nucleus so more columbian force the smaller the distance of separation greater is the force so more columbian force will be exerted and it will experience a greater repulsive force okay same way with this this will go straight this will experience a force like deflection and this alpha particle will experience a greater force as compared to the these are the particles because it is nearer to the nucleus. Now, what happened to this? A few of the alpha particles rebounds back. So that is the it will go back after it will not hit because both are positive. It will not hit. This is the atom of or this is alpha particle, this is the nucleus. This is also positive, this is also positive. Alpha particle is coming, it's coming, 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 coming. And as soon as it hits or at the maximum uh, separation of distance where it can experience the columbian force, it stops here and turns back. It cannot hit because it is positive, it is also positive. So now if this distance, if I say this distance from the center of nucleus is R0. So this R0 is termed as distance of closest approach.
okay the minimum distance between the center of the nucleus because you know columbian force is a central force so from the center of the nucleus to the center of the positive alpha particle before it bounces back is known as distance of closest approach clear now this distance of closest approach will be different for different alpha particle can there be different kinetic energy the kinetic energy was 5.5 mega electron volt this we have discussed in previous video so if it will be changing so the distance of closest approach will also change so you have to this is not fixed for all kind of positive charged particles that is important that's why the numerical breakdown what will be the distance of closest approach if an positively charged particle of 5 mega electron volt is bombarded by nucleus so that will change okay so in case of weaker and marsden they take uh, they took this met as a radioactive substance from uh, which the alpha particles were radiated out of an energy of 5.5 mega electron volt okay so this is called distance of closest approach this one now what is impact parameter actually impact parameter is basically it is defined as the distance or the perpendicular distance perpendicular distance between the velocity component and the nucleus okay so it is denoted by b impact parameter is perpendicular distance between between velocity component velocity with which the and nucleus so that is called impact parameter now this distance is given this distance this is b for this this is b for this this is b for this okay so now you can see there can be different observations which you can make from this like greater the value of b greater the value of b weaker will be the repulsive force is it is it this distance that means this particular alpha particle will experience the weakest repulsive force because the distance of perpendicular distance between the velocity of this alpha particle and nucleus is maximum so the force of repulsion will be minimum that means impact parameter is basically denoted by b small b and it is inversely proportional to columbian force it is inversely proportional to columbian force right so greater the value of b smaller will be the columbian force that is repulsive force the particular positively charged particle will experience a less repulsive force same is with this if this is b for this this particular alpha particle and this is b for this alpha particle right so you can see that is it is alpha particle 1 it is alpha particle 2 and it is alpha particle 3 so alpha particle 3 will have a greater force than alpha 2 than alpha so this observation you can draw from this impact parameter getting my point okay so distance of closest approach is the distance the minimum distance between the nucleus and the positive charged particle before it bounces back that is called distance of closest approach impact parameter is the perpendicular distance between the velocity component of the positive charged particle or alpha particle to the nucleus so that is denoted by b and rather for gave its expression as q 
kz t square cot theta by 2 upon k. This expression is important. This is derived by Rutherford that k z t square cot theta by 2 upon k, where this k, small k is that is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught only, whose value is 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. Right? So that is the value of this k. Right? Per meter to constant that we say. So this is about impact parameter and distance of closure approach. So for this particular experiment, we used to find out the distance of closure approach also. Now how to calculate that? Very simple. So they took this alpha particle which experienced an angle of 180 degree right and experienced the maximum force. Okay, experience the maximum force. So as soon as the approach of this alpha particle towards the nucleus is increasing, as it is approaching towards the nucleus, so the velocity component that is keeps on decreasing. So with the kinetic energy with which it was coming is converting into potential energy. Getting my point? So calculation of R1. I mean, in some books you can find out with B also. So there is nothing with that. So calculation of R0 that means calculation of this distance of closest approach. So you know the kinetic energy is given by half mv square. And the kinetic energy for uh, the alpha particles taken by that was 5.5 mega electron volt. If you convert it into joule, so it will be 5.5 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 30 joule. So this is the kinetic energy with which the alpha particles are moving towards the nucleus. Okay, so this is kinetic energy. Now this kinetic energy is converting into potential energy as soon as it is coming nearer to the nucleus at this point of instant. Zero potential energy conversion completely bounce back. Getting my point? So potential energy in electricity you know, is given as K Q1 Q2 upon R0. Okay, let's suppose this distance be R0. Clear? Now Q1, this is alpha particle. Alpha particle, the charge in alpha particle is plus two. E because alpha particles are the atom of helium. Alpha particles are the atom of helium and helium has what is helium is plus 2 E. This is the charge present in helium atom and nucleus you know it will be Z E. So here it will be 79 E because it is the nucleus of gold. So the nucleus of gold, gold Z stands for atomic number and atomic number of gold is 79 so it will be 79 into E so this is Q2 this is Q1, this is Q2 so if I put over here so K Z E into 2 E upon R0 so it becomes K 2 2 Z E square upon R, this is the second, this is first. Now, you know, conservation of energy, the potential energy is converting into kinetic energy. So, by the law of conservation of energy, if I put, so what I will get? So, Ke by conservation of Energy so Ke equals to P. So Ke was 
half and b square is equal to k z e square 2z e square upon r naught this will go up this will go down so r naught will be equal to 4 k z e square upon m b square so this is the expression for distance of closest approach so this is very important for your numerical point of view if velocity is given mass of the particle or any positive charge charge particle is given to you then you can find out r not energy is given so this can also be termed as r not is equal to 2 k z square upon k this way also you can give the expression if kinetic energy is given to you then you can use this expression if mass and velocity of the particle is given to you then you can use this expression so for particular alpha particle they calculated this how they calculated you know each and every thing is given to you so r not is equal to 2 k z e square upon k this i am using for alpha particles in zmr and marsden experiment so k 9 into 10 to the power 9 z 79 what will k is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 z is equal to 79 k is you know 5.5 Into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 30 joule, and E is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90 joule. This you already know, isn't it? So putting the value all, so R naught equals to 2 into 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 79 into 1.6. Into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 38 upon 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 38 into 5.5. This you will get. Okay, so 1.6 cancels with 1.6, so you left with 2 into 9 into 79 into this will go up 22. 22 and uh, 38 it will become 10 to the power minus 16 upon 5.5. So when you will solve this, you will get around 4.13 into 10 to the power minus 14. So this was the R for alpha particles, or I can write that also 4.13 fm that is. Per millimeter, ten to the power minus fifteen. Okay, so from here only they calculated the size of the nucleus also. The size of the nucleus they found as ten to the power minus fifteen meter. You must know this. But the size of nucleus from all these calculations they give as ten to the power minus fifteen meter, and the size of atom they give as ten to the power minus ten. So they did the calculation regarding the size of the nucleus also, size of the atom also, the distance of uh, uh, closest approach and all. So this is all about how they calculate and how this basic uh, model on the structure of atom help the in order to understand about the atom its and its characteristics and size and all. Okay. There were some limitations also of rather four. You must have studied in class eleven also. The limitations was on the basis of electromagnetic theory that the radiation every charged particle in motion releases some energy. So a time will come at that electrons revolving around the nucleus they will lose energy after every one revolution, and a time will come when it fall into the nucleus following a spiral path. So that was the major uh, drawback of the Rutherford model, uh, which makes it to fail. And a line spectrum concept was also there. 
so that you have already studied in class 11. So these are two basic drawbacks or limitations of Rutherford. So this is all about your Rutherford model. This is very important model. This is important for your numerical point of view. Clear everyone? So if you have got any doubt, you can comment and uh, I will reply to your comment. And uh, next we will discuss about force model in the next video. Okay, thank you all. Thank you so much.